Good evening, everybody. I'm Tina Brown, and I'm thrilled to welcome you to the fifth annual Women in the World Washington, D.C. Forum. And I'm very happy to be co-hosting it with Leila Afas, Director of International Public Policy for Toyota North America, our generous partner tonight. Leila, I should have said. Where are you? Good to see you here. Thank you. Thank you. OK. <laughs> So it's 12 months since we were last together, and so much has happened. So much. <laughs> I mean, time ran out on brutish macro misogyny. Whoever thought that Harvey Weinstein would prompt a referendum on a new paradigm for masculinity? I mean, and I think, of course, that President Trump played just a little part of that too, right? So now we're seeing a wave of fierce women saying enough to being stalled on pay equity, denied seats at the table, not believed by law enforcement, not represented by their representatives. And that's why we owe women leaders here in Washington such a vote of thanks. A few I'd like to give a shout out to. Supreme Court justices, Ginsburg, Kagan, and Sotomayor, who helped strike down restrictions on abortion access in Texas. Senators Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski, who cast the deciding votes on health care reform that saved coverage of birth control for tens of millions of women. <laughs> and Congresswoman Maxine Waters, who defiantly reclaimed her time. <laughs> and it's incredible, I think, that there's a new pack of women arriving at the gates of the 116th Congress because women from both parties are running in record-smashing numbers. And uh, tonight, you're going to meet one of those extraordinary women who's running against five men in a tough primary battle in Kentucky's sixth district. That's Amy McGrath, who you'll meet later. And by the way, if you want to see who else is on the agenda tonight, just go to the Women in the World app, and you'll see them all there. I want to thank, again, very much uh, Toyota, the longtime presenting sponsor of our Women in the World Summit in New York, and of course, our gathering tonight and others like it around the country Thank you, Lila, and all the Toyota team. <laughs> so tonight, on the eve of International Women's Day, you're going to hear tonight from women of power and purpose who don't ask permission to get things done. So let's begin, starting with the formidable IMF Managing Director, Christine Lagarde. <laughs> 